Uh, what's up everybody and welcome to your next C++ SFML 2.0 tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be looking into some mouse events. So let's get started. So the mouse ha contains a lot of different types of events and so to accommodate for this we're going to be uh, kind of switching the way we do our handle our events. So instead of having a bunch of if and else of statements we're going to have a switch statement and just a bunch of cases so case sf event closed then we'll call window dot close so we can get rid of this right here okay so now we're going to be looking into two uh to s two new mouse events right now and it's going to be mouse entered and uh we're going to say mouse within screen bounds and we're gonna add another case and the, these should have break statements or they'll just fall through so case sf event mouse left mouse not within screen bounds Okay, so what this means is that whenever the mouse is within the screen, then it's going to trigger this mouse entered event. When the mouse has left the screen, hence the word mouse left, so if it's not within the screen bounds, then it will display this message. So let's test this out. So as we can see on the console window, it says mouse within, mouse within screen bounds. And we leave it says mouse not within, put it in, it says within, not within, so on and so forth, okay? So uh, that's what happens if it's uh, within the, the bounds and if it's not. So what if we want to check mouse movement? There is an event for that. So if we want to say a mouse event, mouse moved, okay? So if the mouse moved, then we're just going to want to display the coordinate. So we'll say mouse coordinates, or we'll just put X, and then we'll make an event, we'll say event mouse moved X, and then we'll add a Y, event mouse move dot Y. So it has its own uh, and will and align. So it has its own uh, instance in order to uh, determine uh, the position, uh, the x position and the y position when the mouse is indeed moved. And we'll add a break there. So let's see what we get. So. As you can see, we can see the mouse coordinates whenever we move the mouse within the screen. So you can do a lot of things. If you want the player to, uh, if you want the player to follow the mouse, or if you want to locate where the mouse is, say you want them to enter text in a certain area, uh, you could do that. So along, along with the mouse moved, we can also check for the mouse if the mouse button is pressed. So now we're going to say case sf event mouse button pressed. And just like what key press is, we, uh, we have key, we have the mouse button pressed and mouse button released. So now we'll have mouse button pressed. <laughs> and in here, uh, there, there's something that we can do. So we can specify which button we actually want to uh, accommodate for. So in here we're gonna say that if uh, if event dot mouse button dot button equals to SF mouse and there's different buttons so we can choose the left button the middle button being the scroll wheel uh, the right button or an extra button uh, extra button one extra button two so say you have a special mouse with side buttons or something that's what this is for so let's say left uh, so they press the left button then uh, we'll say uh, 
left button pressed at and let's put some coordinates uh, so we'll put event dot mouse button dot X so see it's different it's not mouse move anymore it's mouse button so this is activated when we actually press a button and uh, so now we're gonna find the Y coordinate and we're gonna call event mouse button Y and let's just end the line like so and just add a break and let's run this so as we can see it shows our coordinate when we press the left button down well, we can't really see it so let's move this okay so when we press the left button it says button press that and the coordinate we pressed it at now I know some of you are probably gonna ask what's the difference between mouse move and mouse button will it change the coordinates I never tested that so let's let's test this out so if I instead of put mouse button I put mouse move Y will that make a difference so let's test this out we're all figuring this out so let's move this here. So if we press this, it's not gonna give us the right coordinate. As we see, this is our coordinate right here. X is at 142, Y is at 267. When we press it, it gives us a different value, right? So uh, to answer that question that people may ask, no. Uh, it's probably the reason why is because it only triggers it'll be it calculates the difference between uh where you last were and where your new position is or how far you moved in order to give you the position so it, it probably that's the reason why it, it doesn't really work properly but if you want to check for the mouse button position use mouse button if you want to check out uh how I like the position when it moved to use mouse moved or mouse move sorry so that's when we, we press a button and uh, there's one more thing that we can we can do with my, with the mouse and that is if the scroll wheel indeed moved so let's check this out uh, so we're gonna say sorry so case SF event mouse wheel moved so if the mouse wheel moved uh, what are we going to do so there's there's uh, there's different things that we can do so we can display the X and the Y or the Delta so that is the uh, the change right so what we're gonna do is just we're just gonna display the Delta and we're just gonna be we're gonna say event dot mouse wheel dot delta and we can also display the X and the Y so if we run this I don't really have a mouse wheel I'm using the touchpad but I'm gonna be using a scroll gesture gesture and as you can see when I scroll up you'll see negative one when I scroll up and oh you'll see negative three sometimes depending on how hard I scroll right so I scrolled super hard you'll see a negative 223 so if you want something like you want to increase the speed the uh, the harder they scroll and you can do it as well so when I scroll really hard you can see the values and when I scroll down you can see positive values right so you can see the the change in that and I'm guessing if we do if we do the position so let's do mouse wheel Y let's see what we get so stop debugging, run this one more time. So if I scroll up, we just get, for our Y position, we just get a difference between 240 and 249. I don't really see any difference. So yeah, whenever, I don't know what the Y is standing for. I believe it's probably telling us the position at which, uh, the scroll wheel is like um, if we keep on moving it up what position it's at uh, but I'm not really exactly too sure and uh, too keen on what that is but I'm pretty sure that most likely when you're using the mouse wheel you'll be working with Delta 
and if you need the x and y then you can look more in depth into that but that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe and bye